off the uncle hose in a tuk tuk. Good night last night, sound sleep, all is well. The place is only like 10, 15 minutes away supposedly. And I don't know what to expect. I haven't seen any, that's the bus station right there. Uh, I haven't seen any motorbike taxis since I've been here. It's all tuk-tuks. Which means you negotiate beforehand. It's a nice day out, a bit humid. I think it's 77% humidity. And 10% uh, chance of rain. Right around 90 degrees. It's a nice day. Why would I get hippie pants when I've lived here for 25 years? Why would I get hippie pants like some freaking Kausan tourist? Explain that to me, buddy. Ugh. You're banned for being a dumb fuck. See you later. Aren't you in pie? Use your eyes and read. If you're that stupid, you don't belong here. Because you'll never make it to Thailand. You'll never make it anywhere outside of wherever you are. Yes, I'm mean. I'm sure you'll get over it. There is a university here, there's a college, I forget what it's called. Ipis, I don't know, I just saw it, but there is, a, there is at least, there's got to be a couple of universities here. This isn't like a tiny little town, so. the house and put them in a uh, they reconstructed another house and put all the stuff inside it because I guess the thing was falling apart.
This is uh, 212, which is the main road that goes all the way. It, it hugs the Mekong River. Soy dog, what's happening? All right, so we're almost to Uncle Ho's right here. Very nice. I like this area. It's really nice. they have ample resources here. See, they got the Thai flags out everywhere. Guys, like, you want me to take you back too? I'm like, yes, definitely. When you're out in a place like this, it's not always easy to get a ride back to where you gotta go, you know? Oh, this is it right here. Ah, oh, I see. So there we go. We're here. This is written in Vietnamese. I'm gonna have to put my mask on. Okay. okay. Let me put this uh, stuff away.
องจิตครับโรงเรียนต้องจิตต้องจิตผมอยู่ที่นี่ครับอยู่กรุงเทพเราคนมากิ่งผมไม่ได้ลายปีไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไปอเมริกาไม่ได้ไปในลายปีก็มีเมียมีเมียแล้วมีลูกแล้วโตแล้วมีคนสุราษคนใจดำอ้าใจดีพูดเลยผมสแกนไม่ได้เดี๋ยวนี้ก็สแกนไม่ได้เพราะแต่ผมจะเขียนเขียนได้ได้ครับช่วยเบอร์โทรศัพท์ยี่สิบห้าปีแล้วทำไมฉันนายฟิฟตีนเดี๋ยวนี้ก็ได้เมียได้ลูกแล้วเต็มแล้วโตแล้วเลยโตแล้วลูกก็โตแล้วยินในในเซนอันนี้สามสิบหกสามสิบหกจุดศูนย์เออจุดศูนย์โอเคโอเคครับบ้านยุทธินะบ้านอยู่ในนี้แหละบ้านบ้านบ้านโฮอยู่ข้างในนี่มีหมดอยู่ในนี่อยู่ในเล่มนั่นเองอันนี้อันนี้เป็นอังกฤษอังกฤษจะอันได้เลยไทยก็มีไทยแลนด์ไม่มีอ๋อมีอังกฤษมีไทยใช่อ๋อโอเคโอเคมีไทยมีเวียดนามอืมมีเวียดนามด้วยมีบ้านบ้านโอเคโอเคผมใส่ที่นี่โอเคขอบคุณโชคดีที่บริจาคและจิตตู้นะครับเดี๋ยวอ a l i t t l e gift uh, you. Uh, alcohol alcohol uh, okay yeah. very thorough uh, there's nobody here <laughs> we got the place to ourselves All right, let's take a little stroll. They've really turned this into a. Uh, Tourist attraction, although obviously now there's no tourists.
I'm gonna have to go in here. I wanna check this out. So this is not just one house, it's a... It's a few houses, a few buildings. That's your pillow. Basically, this is uh, this this is just paying homage to him. <laughs> yeah, well. No tourists now. Look, he's training, man. He's got the he's got the weights. Check it out. He's lifting weights. He's an old man there too. Takes physical exercise regularly every day. Huh. Another bed. Well, this is the former Thai Prime Minister. Dancing. In Laos. All right, this is the kind of stuff I like to see, not the paintings. I want to see the real stuff. Now I can say I've been to Uncle Uncle Ho's. I want to see his living uh, quarters. This I don't think this is his living quarters. This is his. Uh, oh, I don't know, because there's a couple of. Look at this. Now, supposedly all this stuff is is uh, from back in the day, from the from the twenties and thirties. I think he started in 1929. Uh, but he, I, so, I believe he had a couple different places in Thailand, but this was the main one. But I wanna find the, I wanna find where he lived, if he was living in this or wh where, I mean, you know, there's all kinds of little uh, buildings. Let's see what's over here. Why is this thing acting up? It's very quiet and peaceful here. Look, what is this big rock over here? Yeah, all this stuff is old, man. You can tell. This isn't... <laughs> They may have rebuilt the house or houses, but this stuff is, uh, wow, well, let me see if I can open this. Oh, I'm not gonna, holy shit. That looks like it's from 1930. Nice table. Got to look at this uh, map. What is this here? I don't know what that is up top. They must have just washed this place down. I 
find a dry place to sit. Quite lovely here, eh? All right, let me read this here real quick and look at the map. Former residence. That is the residence. It's a replica. The house is a replica. He was living here in 1928 and 1929. All right, so let me go on because there's more here. It looks like that that first place, though, that was his house. Unbelievable. We are in Tambo Nangyat, eight kilometers from Nakon Panom and opposite the Nakon Panom Provincial Fisheries Office. So it looks like I think I'm going to go over to that other one. So it was just a set of three buildings, but this first one was his house. There's no cost, but they ask you to make a donation. I put in 100 baht. It's just three bucks. A little more than three bucks. Man, you could put in 20 bucks. They're not going to complain. But, you know, three bucks is about, about what it's probably worth. I don't know. I guess this is just a storage uh, facility. There's no, I don't see any way in. Oh, what's this? All right, so you're not meant to go up there, though. You know, this place is like a temple, you know. It's like I can walk around here for 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm like, all right, now what? <laughs> but I can say I've been to Uncle Ho's pad. Let me go over here. Yeah, I always wonder the same. I wonder, you know, what was he writing? What was he working on when he was here? Because supposedly he he worked on the over, he worked on the, uh, what he wanted for, for Vietnam while he was here. So he could have done that right here at this table. So I think I'm gonna sit down at this table he could have spent his evenings here puffing opium or tobacco or just chilling. For all you know, you know, who knows what went on. I don't know if his old lady was here when he was here. All right, let's put this down here. Uncle Ho's, pretty sparse. Pretty Spartan for a for the leader of a country. Uh, well, I don't know why there would be security here. There's not all that much here. I mean, really, it's the house, it's the, the little beds, it's they replicated the house the house itself. So the house is not anything. Uh, you know, it's not a big deal. But it's everything inside of it. But you know, even the stuff inside is like, uh, you know, you see that dresser that was over there and it's like, the thing's like, you know, 90 years old. Who wants it? You know, you want it just because you can say, oh, I stole Uncle Ho's dresser. I mean, you know, you're not gonna get it out of here anyway, so. the chair out. yeah I'll have to do that do I want to lay in the bed I don't think so <laughs> all right here we go do I really want to sit in this yeah, it looks like it actually is pretty comfortable it's a nice rocking chair all right he 
Actually, this is pretty, pretty good, pretty comfy. See, can I rock back and forth? Yeah. It's all right here. Too much harsh light, man. It's gonna be this way. Then you're right into the light. It's not bad. Put my glasses on so they don't fall off. I fell asleep in Uncle Ho's chair. <laughs> but, you know... This chair is supposedly a chair that he was in. Monotony kills the soul. Repetition builds, repetition and discipline builds character. Ooh, I like that. All right. I don't like the harsh light though in the, in the video. I'll, I will say this that I'll give them. They don't have like, uh, you know, they don't have a bunch of hawkers sitting here trying to sell water and everything. Although maybe it's because there's not that many tourists. Be happy in your work. Oops, wrong side of Thailand. Huh? Wrong side of Thailand. I don't get it. Me no understand you. Johnny, what's happening? Johnny, what's happening now? Mr. Menage. His name is Menage from now on. Like Menage a toi. All right, let's go over to this big temple-like thing. Man, a lot of harsh light. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm not overwhelmed by this place, but it is kind of cool, you know, just to come here. And uh, I'm going to get a shirt, I think, that says, I copped a squat in an Uncle Ho's chair. <laughs> uh, I wrote my book at Uncle Ho's chair. At Uncle Ho's uh, house. Please take off your shoes. All right, I got to take my shoes off to go in here. I tried to take a dump before I had to leave. Just so you know. It makes you feel better. That wasn't happening. As they say in Thai, Young Mai Prom. It's not yet... The perfect time. This looks pretty cool. Well, you can live in a place like this if you really want. Where my wife lives, the, I mean, you know, her mother's house is really old. It's I don't know how many old, how old it is, but probably 75 years old. Just a little wooden house. And aside from the morning, it's very quiet there. And, you know, during the day, it's very, very quiet there most of the time. But even if in the, in the middle of the day, if you want to get some peace and quiet, it's possible there. I'm, I'm surprised that they put this in here, you know? You know, I didn't bring a camera. I have a camera back in the room, but I didn't bring a camera simply because I just don't want to do eight things at once, which is what it necessitates. But hang on a second. Now I just took a couple photos. So, you know, they got, they got a caretaker who just 
cleans the place up. They got somebody who helps people to come in. Am I allowed to hit this? I probably can. I'm going to. Nine thirty, so I just did nine. <laughs> Here's another one. Shall I? <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be that loud, man. A guy over here gave me a thumbs up. He's like, "All right." <laughs> There's no, there's no monks here. I like this view right here with the flags and the front and the, the pool. I like it, it's nice. Anyway, so this is, they do have a camera up here to the right there, upper right of the screen. Wow. Only one pair of shoes. Today is July 8th. I now pronounce this Mr. Menage Day. May all the Vietnamese and Thais and other Asians run when they hear his name. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can do this. I gotta put my shoes on. <laughs> you all do? Everybody runs when the, the, the name Minaj comes out. Well, we're gonna go take another quick walk back to Uncle Ho's just so I can see it one more time. All right, this is Mr. Malin Day. That's probably better. Pretty cool. It's good to know though that where this is and everything because uh, I may come tomorrow and just do a little video about this place. Come tomorrow before I leave. I'm gonna leave Nakhon Panom tomorrow. Take a bus all the way up to Bung Khan, like I've been saying. just stay here it's so peaceful and so it's just serene and all you hear is the birds pretty much are too much all right let's go take one last look at it we'll go take a little uh a little tuk-tuk ride down to the down to the uh river and uh i don't know i'm gonna eat that quid tio again today it was very good but i was gonna save that for tomorrow and i'd like to eat somewhere different so i'm gonna have to find a place to eat maybe this guy can help me out here this driver This is the door. Yeah, you can see that this is this is not old. I mean, when you look at it.
Even, I mean, like, look at the roof and the, the light, the lights. Those are modern. Oh, shit. Boy. Should I lie down here? Try the pillows out? Wooden pillows. You would think that they wouldn't be very comfortable, but I'm going to try them out. This is, I think this is, I think this is Unk's room. I'm going to lie down. Shh, don't tell anybody. Well, it's a little bit dusty. And then I got a bald head. It'll just wipe right off. <sighs> like my head's on the chopping block. There we go. It's, it's not actually that uncomfortable. It's... If you just lay here and, you know, look at the ceiling. But it does look like my head's on a chopping block. Boy. President of the Thai Vietnam Association, knock on Phnom and boards. Let's go check this out. It's just that they must dedicate the trees. Planted by Mr. Visadar Jintana Satyan. Dractomelon duperianum. This one doesn't tell me in English what the name of the plant is. Planted by Senator Lugent Lieutenant General Bui Van Nam. All right, so like you see, this is July of, July 18th, what's today? July 8th. Almost three years to the day. May 19th, 2017. This is 2016. Two thousand sixteen. That's jackfruit. It's a jackfruit tree. I don't see any fruit on it. No. Nope. But this is a jackfruit tree. Ugh. All right. You saw some fruit? I didn't see them. So, you know, listen. If you want to just say, hey, I came to Uncle Ho's pad. It's, it's not a bad deal. This guy's charging me 300 baht for the tuk-tuk ride to go out and to come back and to wait for me. So it's not bad. And, you know, if you want to pay him a couple bucks for a donation, three bucks. So all in all, you know, would I say it's a fantastic value? If you want to come here, you're interested, and you just want to see a few things, okay. Cool. It's something to do and knock on uh, Panome. 
I wouldn't exactly call it thrilling, you know. It's not like a thrilling, exciting ride, but that's all right. I knew what I was getting into. And I just wanted to say, I went to Uncle Ho's pad, which is right here. But I'm sure this looks really nice once they have it all lit up and, uh, you know, when there's a lot of tourists here, I'm sure it's probably, you know, it's probably a little lively place. Ties are into this kind of stuff, you know. So basically, you know, this whole place is a is an homage, just like last night was an homage to the Naga, the serpent. This is an homage to Ho Chi Minh. like him or not. Everywhere is Vietnamese, so I'm, I'm really surprised that they allowed all the Vietnamese stuff, all the, I mean, they have the, uh, uh, it, it, you know, it varies from what I've read. It started around uh, 1928, and depending on where you're, what you're reading, uh, all the way through about 1936 or 37, but he, he went from place to place. He didn't always stay in a place for a long time, but this is the place supposedly where he started drawing up his ideas of what he wanted to do with Vietnam, what, you know, what he wanted the future to look like. Well, we're going to go over here. There's another building or two you can go take a look at. It's a nice, the grounds are quite nice. I mean, they keep them up. They must get the money somehow. Wonder if it's from the Vietnamese government or taxes or what, you know, but what do you cup? What do you what do you? Oh, they do have a little uh, gift shop. They're selling they're selling uh, they sell uh, clothing garments there. And this is the place where I want. I want to get something to drink. I just got another building over here, though. So we'll go up there, too. So what do you cop? What do you... Uh... Nam plow. Manchak America Cup. Oh, you can't get it. 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 You can't get Go you can tap, Nana. Go you can tap, you can look. Consurat. Ah. Kun Majak Nakon. Nakon Ponom. Ah. Makon Dio. Makon Dio. Matio. Matio Sanuk. By Bunkan. By Bunkan. By me. That might mean cry you. ไม่มีใครก็ไม่คนนั้นมั้งโอ้ยเค้านั่งที่นู่นผมอยู่ที่นี่มาข้างไหนใช่มั้ยโอ้ตัดสินโอเคตอนนี้ตอนนี้ไ
ทุกวันไหมทุกทุกวันมีไหมไม่มีเออจะมีคนไทยไหมเหรออ uh, <laughs> yeah, well, because of the COVID, nobody. Oh, la. Oi. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not buying something just because I, I bought a water. If there was something there, maybe I could I could see her wearing or using. I might get some for, but there's not. These are like kind of like older lady clothes. She's not that old. <sighs> yeah, there's a queue, and she's asking about the. Uh, About her kids. Get, can I find him a can I find him a husband? Or can I find him a boyfriend? Let's see what's up here. These are condos. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, these are this is like a traditional Thai dress. They must. Who knows what the hell they do with this stuff. Yeah, these are all empty. There's a bathroom, toilet. All right, now this might be kind of cool. Not the toilet, but this. I gotta take my shoes off again. And, uh, yeah, I'll take them off. Uh, here we go. Uncle Ho. Unk. And here, this is pretty cool. Let's see if I can read it. Ho Chi Minh met his compatriot at Ban Le Jok Nakhon Phnom Province, Siam, 1928 to 1929. Looks pretty cool though. <laughs> pretty realistic, all, uh, all the way up to the fruit here. This is what I like right here, check this out. Can you imagine using this thing? I mean, the only steel that I see is in the wheel right here. Everything else is, uh, I mean, look at this, how it's put together. Pretty wild. You know, people forget that Thailand was well, some people forget, but uh, Thailand was largely agriculture for all the way up till after the war. And only in the 70s and 80s did it start to become modernized. Personal belongings of Ho Chi Minh. Rubber sandals, khaki clothes, hat. All right. Hmm. Here we have the kings.
You know, this kind of reminds me of Cambodia, of uh, tool slang, except, you know, this doesn't have any deaths that we know of occurring. But, you know, it's the same feel, just kind of, you know, a bunch of stuff put up on the wall and then people look at it to remember. Where are the girls? Uh, I do have some video of some dancing uh, girls from last night. I'm gonna slap that up tonight, I believe. On the road again. Uh oh, demonetized. Interesting place, but it's time to go. I've seen enough. Uncle Ho, I bid you adieu. Interesting coming here. Well, I don't know. I thought Hong Kong was pretty damn good most of the time. <laughs> um, but in Thailand, you know, I haven't been to Cambodia in a long time. Uh, and haven't really traveled much around Thailand, but you know, remember we were locked down too. We had to stay at home. Choke me up. Guy does a good job, I'll tell you that, man. This place is, it's a beautiful, the grounds are beautiful. I mean, you can't, it's just, you know, it's too bad they don't have more Ho Chi Minh stuff, but you know, Vietnam probably keeps it for themselves. Johnny Siam, thank you very much. You are the first person today and the first Super Chat. So, you know, by Thai, uh, Thai beliefs, you are entitled to good luck all day. Oi, <laughs> Paitil. Okay. I tell you what we could do. Could take a little cruise. I'll give them a I'll give them a little extra and we'll go down the Mekong in this thing. Go pay by Mekong cup. Bye bye Menam. We'll take a little trip. He's supposed to just drop me off, but you know, like for an extra hundred baht, two hundred baht, it'll take me pretty much anywhere. So maybe we'll just take a little cruise up and down the river. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm not in the mood to go on any lengthy walks right now. Thailand. Johnny, I'm stuck in Melbourne for the next six weeks. <laughs> hey, I feel for you guys, man, because I was all right for like two months. I'd go out once a week just to go to the grocery, and I was okay because you didn't have to sign in or sign out. You didn't have to do any of that stuff. You didn't have to wear, uh, 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 sign in with the little QR code, which was the, what the guy was asking. trip I was like you know there's that that part of me that I love to travel and I love to see stuff and just go out and not know what 
what you know it's like kind of like gambling you don't know what's going to happen next you can have a place that's you go to that's nothing or you can have a place that's fantastic and you meet cool people and you know interesting people so that's kind of like what it is but there's also that part of me that was like hey you know i don't mind staying at home i just the, the monotony is what gets me you know i like my house i like i like everything about oh wow that's pretty cool back here but you know after a while it's like all right how long am i going to stay home escape from here yeah any little escapes that's a pretty big escape though but any escape is sometimes uh, a good thing six week lockdown on no one allowed to leave the metro area holy shit yeah i mean i've kind of forgotten about it i mean look listen thank you mr Minaj. um i mean look i'm not wearing a mask he's not wearing a mask we're sitting apart from each other it's not like you know we're breathing on each other do like one with one without you know Chinese, but Vietnamese. This guy speaks English. You know, if if I if I can, I should be able to make it all the way down to Tak and Kanchanaburi. I mean, you know, it's there's a lot of things that depends on, you know, like so far I'm doing pretty good, you know, as far as the, this trip does not cost me all that much to, to get around and to eat and and that's great. I love it, you know. But you know, if if it's like, well, it's gonna cost you a thousand baht or two thousand baht to do something, and then the next thing you know, it's like, oh. It's going to cost me another 2000 for that and 3000 for that. You never know what's going to happen, but it's, up here, it's it's really inexpensive for the most part. I mean, my hotel is my hotel's 490 baht, and I couldn't be happier with it. Really, really nice uh, hotel room. And I'm, I'm going to put some photos. I think I put some photos up already, but uh, I got some video of it and stuff. And uh, nice hotel room. You know, 490 baht nowadays is pretty good. That's pretty damn good, and it's very, very clean. I think, I think the wife and I, when we stayed in, uh, when we went to Suratani the last time we stayed in the city, and went to this festival, which I don't remember the name of, and our hotel was like 350 baht, and it was, it wasn't as good as this one, but it was still good was clean it wasn't like a piece of you know it wasn't like a, a shithole you know it was nice I just didn't like that they painted the walls like black and gray you know
my mother ever comes back to Thailand, hang on, man. Because if I'm live streaming when she's around, first of all, she's going to tell me she don't want to be on camera. But she's a hustler, man. And, you know, I mean, she really, when, she's like, if I'm on, if I'm on a holiday, I'm doing a lot of stuff. She, she packs in the whole day from like 6 in the morning to 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. It's, let's go here. Let's go there. Let's go have dinner at this place. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. And, you know, she's a little bit older than I am, and she still manages. So she climbed up to the top of this big uh, hill in Kanchanaburi where there's a Chinese Buddha. And I was like, are you sure you want to do this? She's like, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, she's been here three times, and my, my sisters and her kids have been here twice. But, you know, obviously now it's a little bit different, but I'd like to go home. But, you know, getting back in is just a, it's, it's, it's expensive. That's pretty much what it is. By the time you pay for the insurance and you got to, you know, stay locked up for two weeks, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm hoping that that will, all those requirements will drop off in the future. My mother is how old? She'll kill me for saying it, but she's, uh, she's not very old. She's, uh, I think she's 75. I mean, she's, you know, she's, she's older, but she's, she's not that old. You know, she's not in her, like, 90s or anything. Now, my old man is, uh, 79. He'll be 79 this year, so he's 78. Yeah, well, hopefully they'll be in around for another 20 years. And, you know, they're, they're both pretty strong, you know, so... None of them have had hip surgeries. And my left hip is not good. It, it's starting to go out a little bit. I can feel it. Left knee, left, left, my left knee's been bad since I was like 16 years old. I heard it playing football. And uh, now I feel my hip, so gotta be careful. I gotta, I gotta lose another 10, 15 kilos to like be where I should be at least. They would love a day trip like this. Well, my mother went to, we all went to Kanchanaburi together. We took the train to Kanchanaburi with the kids. And it, was, uh, it was awesome. You know, it was really nice. It's a good, you know, it's a good place to come. If you're not smashed out of your head. I mean, you know, getting drunk is one thing. That, that's fun. If you're, if you're blackout drunk every night, well, then it's probably not the best place to be. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe you forget about that lady boy you uh, slept with. That's why I never got blackout drunk, because I didn't want to ever get in that position. But guys like Monash, you know, they go out and they get, you know, shit-faced. He probably doesn't even, he doesn't drink at all. But, uh, and then, you know, they, they justify their uh, pension for lady boys by... <laughs> I'm joking, Menage. <laughs> they justify it by saying, oh, I got too drunk. I always wonder about that. How many guys actually do that and then they go, uh, she was a beautiful, young, cute girl, but I'm not gonna see her again because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just having fun, man. No news, no dated daily life. I mean, you know, no monotony. I'm doing something different. I need to do this more often. And you know, the good thing is the wife and kids are all right with it. They're just living their life as long as I keep in touch with them, talk to them. You know, I don't spend years at a time on the road. They're fine. You know, and they come join me, so, you know. You know, everybody gets old. You know what it is? You know what the purpose of the meaning of life and the purpose of life is? To live as much as you can for as long as you can. Cram as much living 
in your life and live as long as you can. That's, I'm convinced of that. He who makes it to being a hundred without, you know, like completely shitting himself all the time and, you know, peeing all over himself, that's the person who wins, you know? And then one day you just go to sleep and that's it, you know? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, from the from the from the minute you are born, you're dying. You know, that's how that you can look at it that way. Getting up early. At, yeah, I told my wife. I figured it out, and I told her. You know, I wake up two or three hours earlier than you. Shit. Every day. And I'm like, add this up. And then I told it all up. And it was something like, some incredible number. She was like, holy. She's like, maybe I need to wake up earlier. I'm like, yeah, stop giving me the whole, you know, the Thai ladies like to say the, you know, give me five minutes, five minutes. Oh, it's probably all women. Five minutes, five minutes, just five minutes more. They, you know, they want to hit that snooze button. Yeah, well, that's... That's the idea. You know, I mean, at this point, there's only a few things that I haven't done that I really want to do. You know, I want to go, I would like to go in a shark cage, like not right at the top, but down. I'd like to go in a shark cage. I'd like to see the sharks that breach. I'd like to go to the Congo and go down the Congo River. And uh, there might be one or two other things that I want to do, but other than that, you know, I've lived, I'm happy with the way I've lived, you know? You just have to keep finding things to keep yourself busy. And I would like to get a motorcycle and drive all around Thailand, but you know, I'm definitely afraid of something happening. I don't want to be a statistic, and I've had a few motorcycle accidents in my life. And they were pretty gnarly. You know, the older you get, the more risky it becomes because your bones are a little more brittle. Let's see if this guy will take me up and down. We'll see. I'm buying breakfast. He wants something to eat, but he's probably eating already. You know, I don't remember if I said anything to anybody, but man, I was in, uh, what was the name of it? Yay? I think it, it wasn't Yay. It was uh, the place before Yay that I stopped, and there was a guest house. I was staying in this guest house, and this guy, he was pretty cool. He owned a guest house, and uh, he was married to uh, some uh, Mon girl, and, um, you know, had a good little thing going for himself, and... Uh, and um, I, you know, rented one of his, uh, yeah, of course. Just got to negotiate it, you know. I rented one of his uh, motorbikes, and I don't know what the hell happened, but I just kind of like slid off the side of the road. And we were out in the middle of nowhere just like a little while ago. And I, I laid the bike down, but nothing happened. But I laid it down, and I was like, son of a bitch. Got to be more careful, you know. I was like talking. There was two other people with me. There was a guy and a lady, a young guy and an older lady with me. And we were talking while we were driving. And I was like, ah! and the next thing I know, I was like, oh shit. I'm going to have to talk to this guy. See if we can go. Kun, Kun Kap. Kun Kyu, my. Kyu, my. My Kyu, ah. Ah, my belay. Uh, Tajapai. Man, I'm go cup cup road, cup go go find I uh find I dinner. Go me me a liar. Oh, go qua lel sai. I need qua. Yang I get qua. 
ถ้าเลี้ยวซ้ายเลี้ยวขวายังไงดีกว่าอ่าโอเคโอเค Alright so he doesn't want anything to eat He doesn't want anything to eat but he'll take me there I'll give him a little bit extra Kong Phapnakon Phanom Oh, what way? Oh, oh, chai, chai, chai. Forgot about that. Duh. Now you know they they make the uh, the festival at night. At about five o'clock, four o'clock, actually three o'clock to around eight or nine. They've got this festival going on, the Naga Festival, where they pay homage to the serpent, half serpent, half man, and. Uh, And they have a well, you know a lot of dancing and stuff like that, and uh, you know it's all right. So I may take some video tonight. I may not stream tonight. I may just shoot video, but it depends on how much I get done and you know how hot it is. I don't like going into restaurants drenched in sweat, you know. Yeah, that was a pretty good place. I could go back there, but you know, I, I like to ch to change it up, go see different stuff, do different things, you know. So this is it. Go. Don't buy me daya. Daya. ไม่เป็นไรผมจะผมจะดูแลคุณนะไม่ไม่เป็นไรอ่าโอเคโอเค Oh this guy he's the guy who helped me get to find the coffee shop yesterday Oh yeah it's a pretty big town I mean you can't just walk everywhere Yeah I figured you know I I watched a little bit of it last night And saw that, and I went, "Oh, that cleavage is pretty pronounced. It was far more pronounced than I noticed. Nothing wrong with the little cleavage." All right. Now, this is where I walked yesterday, but we'll go past that. If you're doing anything that you you know like I don't want to know about, make sure you don't tell me. You know, if you see some hot Thai girl with cleavage hanging out or something. Policia. This is the post office. I like this uh, post office because. They, they, they shape the building like a post office. That's pretty cool. School. Which I walked by yesterday. The Mekong. That's the tourist authority that uh, is closed. <laughs> They're closed because of the COVID. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Let me get over this side.
You know, when you're in this thing and you're next to the river, there's a little breeze, it's nice and cool. Weather is fantastic. When you're walking in it, that's a little bit different. I still would like to know if I can take a boat up the river. So far, I haven't found anybody that said, yeah, it's possible. And if I can get on the river, then I'll play that song by Elton John, uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, because I'll picture myself on a boat on a river. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Another school. Oh, this is former governor's resident. Governor's Residence Resident Museum. Oh, that's a museum there. Looks like a school. Milan <laughs> Cafe. Maybe I'll get a coffee. I haven't eaten any breakfast yet today, but that's all right. I can I can I can skip a meal once in a while. I can afford to. There's a place right there. boat trips in Nankai. Yeah, you know, I saw some uh, boat trips. It was like, uh, I don't remember where it started, but it ended up, it always ended up in Pakse in, uh, in Laos. So I was wondering if maybe, look at this, I was wondering if maybe, uh... <laughs> yeah, well, why do you think I keep making streams and videos? I want to be immortalized for my family. Um, Boat trip, I think, goes to Pakse. I'd have to talk to them, and you know, I'm I'm all for it. You know, I mean, I don't have to go one place, but I would. The idea is that I manage to go around the outer edge um, of Thailand as far as possible. That's that's the goal. Now, you know, I I've said it before. I don't really have the the money to do that because it's a <laughs> it's like thirty nine. 39 provinces and it's uh uh you know i'd have to spend at least two or three days in each province which is you know it's between two and three months so you figure it out it's, it's a fair amount of you know it's not real expensive but you know it just i can't afford to do it um and to be away from home so i'd have to you know go back home for a little while oh this is pretty cool pretty nice little place there like that what is that is that a, oh that's a he's just he's just cruising i don't care anyway that's the goal and if possible i'll do it look at this place fantastic all kinds of nice places what day Oh, I feel a I feel an epic trip coming. Epic, epic. This thing doesn't go very fast. <laughs> He's giving me the scenic route. Kun put pa sa get dai maka. Medaya. Mai mi rua japai mei kong ah. Mai mi. ไม่ <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
ขาบิดลาวก็มาไม่ได้ไทยก็ไม่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไฟลาวไปเมคงไปบึ้งบึ้งการบึ้งการลาวก็ตอนนี้ก็มีเฟรี่ไหมไม่มีเฟรี่ So they've cut that out. Hello, what day, what day? Spidey ball. <laughs> Spidey ball. Uh, go, okay, cup coon. <laughs> oh, I got nit nit noy. I still remember a few phrases from me, son, but I forgot more than I know. Wow, this is it. It's it. It just stops right here. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Oh. Ni la ya dun da ya tinuna. Dun. Oh. Nan thao dai ya. Ki kilomit. Kai ya. Oh, wow! So that's where I'd have to walk. Go walk, bap deal, na? Damn it! So let me just get out of here for just a minute. We'll check it out. Yeah. Ah. Ham rot jak jakayan pan kau walk. So. Well, I'll check it out. So this just follows the Mekong. I don't know how far. Hard to tell from here, but it looks like a long way. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Oh, does he? He rides his bike through here? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, maybe I should have contacted him, but from what somebody said last night, he's not even here. So, you know, I'm just hesitant. I'm always hesitant to, you know, call somebody or message somebody. Hey, man, you know, can you show me around? You know, I just don't, I just don't do that. You know, it's just, if we were to hook up, that'd be cool. You know, I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. But this looks pretty cool. I'd like to know just how far it goes. Does it go all the way to Bunkan? Let me ask these chicks, huh? No, cap. And you go by Nan Thao Rai, per month kilometer. Oh, la! It's their first time here. They don't know. Cap, walk, walk, go. Kai. Uh. Uh. So this is it though. This it ends right here. You can't go any further. Trip out. I thought you could just keep walking and walking and walking, but uh, at some point you have to either. I don't know if you can take this and then cut back over to Highway 212 or what the deal is, but. Uh, <laughs> Very good. So that's Laos. Let's just swim right over there. Sprint for five minutes. Man, I can't. You know, I sprint in Hong Kong. That was the last time I sprint. And it'll probably be the last time I'll ever sprint. Unless. Uh, unless I have like a tiger after me or something. <laughs> then I won't stand a chance. I watched Apocalypse Now the other day, and uh, I forgot about the scene where the tiger comes out. <laughs> the guy was freaking out. It's a fucking tiger. <laughs> All right.
Có lại có chốt lăn cà phê à? Đang mày. Don't ever let it be said, you know, because people think that Thailand or Laos is third world, that there isn't any money here. There is. There's a lot of money here. I know, I know uh, one person in particular that he, he owns uh, several concrete or uh, yeah, uh, concrete manufacturers and exports it all over the world. And he's got buildings and, uh, you know, numerous houses and, you know, he's got a driver and, you know, I mean, uh, so there, there, there are definitely people here who have a ton of money. They got more money than I would ever know what to do with. Now, there is this, it smells like burning or something. something here. I don't know what they're building. Plenty of super rich people, just not to do. Yeah, that's exactly it. The dis distribution of wealth is uh, spread out, you know, from, from the e rich elite to the poor. There's really, uh, the, the middle class is uh, not quite what it, what it is, like it, what it used to be, like in the United States. It's thinning out. Juvenile and family court. Wow. So I think we're going to stop at the little coffee shop up ahead. Then I can transfer this off of the gimbal. I can plug it in, plug the battery in, and that way... I never did get that Osmo 3, which allows me to charge while I'm using the gimbal. Which is a bit of a they got food too here. I think they got food, I don't know. Oh, it's eleven o'clock. Okay. I'll go fat, man. He drinks the coffee from the can. Ugh. Hopefully they got some food. Ugh. He's got his mask on. Swanti Cup. Espresso. Espresso lawn. Uh, look, uh... Not cheap here. I was, I was, you know, listen, you can't go wrong with like a pineapple Danish, but that Danish, that Danish was, uh, 135 baht, man. That's like more than four bucks here. That's like Starbucks prices. And the coffee is very reasonable. Yeah, sit over here. 
for skipping a meal. <sighs> Maybe that's what I should do is buy a tuk-tuk. I'll buy a tuk-tuk. I can carry all my stuff in the back. I can go around Thailand in a tuk-tuk. I don't think they cost that much. They're like, what, a two grand? Two, three grand? They must buy from the, the ceramics from the same place because it's like yesterday, except gray. That? Oh, really? So I'm contributing to the family. <laughs> That's always good. I have to give this guy like five in a bar. Is that what it is? They're about three grand. Then you gotta get insurance, you know. And then, you know, I'd probably get pulled over. I'd probably get pulled over in one of those things. People would be like, What are you doing? You working? Driving a tuk tuk? I just couldn't see myself in a tuk-tuk, sorry. I thought I'd have a motorcycle with a sidecar. I like to give you the sparkly water though. They don't do that in Starbucks. Good to cleanse the palate. And here is the view. A bad view. There's nothing. I think that maybe the the riverbank is uh, not not solid enough to build on, which is why they're all the way. Everything is back here. I still should go look. I have one of them. Get fun and also great fun and great for shop. Yeah, I mean. Listen, it'd be great for me because I could throw my stuff in the back. I could travel around. You know, I just clip it down or whatever, strap it down, and uh, I could go pretty much anywhere. And it's, you know, it's a bit safer than a motorcycle. Probably a mo I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, if I had to get it, I would, but I just can't see myself driving. Really. So the rest of the day is, is uh, I'm going to work on videos, try to get some videos up and uh, yeah. wait for this afternoon.
live in it. Listen, you know, the thing with Thailand is that is that it, it's, it's inexpensive. So, you know, you can, this is the thing. If I really wanted, could I go and try to walk from here to there? Or, you know, yeah, of course I could. Um, yeah, that's the other thing. That, you know, it's not like driving a car where it's smooth sailing, man. The thing is, you know, it's like even riding a motorcycle is draining. I like what I'm doing now, you know. If I really wanted to walk, I could. It would be hard on my body, which is what I'm worried about. And it would be difficult just because of the heat. But, you know, it's like, I might kill myself, man, you know? Why put the strain on the body, you know? They heated this up, which, usually I like my pineapple cold, but it doesn't matter, I'm hungry. The next, the bus ride goes to Phang Khon, and then from Phang Khon to, uh, yeah, thanks, Young. Thanks for reminding me. My kids remind me all the time. So is my wife. My, now my wife has started to complain about her little aches and pains, and I always tell her, you ain't seen nothing yet, honey. 10 years, 15 years ago, I used to tell her, just wait, wait. Wait for a few years, you're gonna start feeling them. Now she's starting to feel them. And I'm like, wait until you get to be, you know, 58. I'm like, you just learn to live with it. Thank you, Mr. Minaj. <laughs> Mr. Minaj. Thank you. Hopefully this trip is early. It's in its early stages. Was only 55 baht, but the, the this Danish was at 135, which is usually they're like 65 or 75. That's why I'm like, huh? What? It's more. I, I would have rather went out and got a meal. I couldn't resist though. Have fun, Johnny. I'll keep you in mind. This is pretty good, actually. Yeah. Can't complain, but when you're hungry, just about anything. Uh... No Denny's. They just got a Taco Bell a couple of years ago, and that was a big deal. This is a pineapple cheese Danish. Just what I need. Why did I eat this? Because it tastes good. Anyway, hopefully this is the beginning of a long journey. And hopefully I'll be able to get, you know, get at least one of the boys to like 
meet me somewhere. I just tell my wife, stick them on a train. Stick them on a train. I'll meet them at the train station. But you know, my kids are homebodies. Nicholas is too too busy in school now. Alex starts school in about three weeks, three and a half weeks. So it's unlikely that they join me, which kind of sucks, you know. <laughs> Tell them to make me, I like salami sandwiches and roast beef sandwiches. Pastrami, that's good too. Kids like bologna. I miss the Oscar Mayer bologna that I used to get back home. Now it's always the CP bologna, and it's not as good as Oscar Mayer. Coffee's good. It's better, it's better than the... That coffee's actually better than... Uh, better than uh, Cafe Amazon. <sighs> Where are we at for time here? 103. <sighs> I'm going to have this guy drop me off at a real restaurant. I can have a, I can, so I can have a a, 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 a real breakfast, a real meal, or lunch. Anyway, it's time to get out of here. Yeah, they got a Taco Bell, and the thing is, is, uh, People griped and groaned because their beef, they didn't have beef. They were complaining, you know, what would he, no beef? I've never been there, not once. Why would I go there? I mean, you know, once in a great while, but I just, it's far from my house. I mean, it's an hour and a half away from my house. So there's no reason for me to go. Let's get out of here. It's time to go. Seventy six A, is that what this is called? Open from seven o'clock in the morning to six at night. Okay. Okay. Mai tong pai long lam, tiga pai gon je liu go.
เลยนะครับก็ข้างหน้าก็มีร้านอาหารบินคุยเที่ยวก็มีบิดอะไรเอ็นเคพีเป็นเป็นมอลเป็นก็ข้างหน้ามันไม่เป็นไรต้องไปแต่นี่ฉันไม่สามารถบอกคุณว่าดีไงที่สวยคืออะไรที่ดีที่สุดใช่ไหมใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใช่ที่สุดใ
how long will it take tourists to come back to Asia? Well, it's going to take a while in Thailand because it's going to be costly to come back. So that's going to eliminate the people who don't have any money, which is one reason I'm not going to go in and out of the country all the time. Just to come in, plus insurance, plus and it's just like ridiculous. And then you know, you see, it's like there's the, the, the rate here is extremely high. Yeah. Go to the garage. Go to the garage. My brother. My brother. My my go to the garage. My brother. Well, today I'm not going to eat food. I'm 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 going to eat food. What do you put it? Gotta pay this guy. And cow. Tinai. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right, we're gonna go to a. We're gonna go to another restaurant. I didn't really want to go to the Quintillo one because I had it yesterday. I'll go tomorrow in the morning. But there is a place they serve, you know, rice dishes up ahead. This little boardwalk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, I don't want them waiting around for me anymore. I'm done with them now, you know. It's no offense, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this area. Chick, chit... I almost stayed at that place right there. Chick, chit, Kong. It's the, uh... It's a, a, a hotel, and I, I was going to stay there, and I just went, eh. Oh, la nia. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Jam die, jam die. Okay. Good bird. Bird Okay. Okay. Bird 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 เท่าไหร่ก็ดีแล้วแต่ครับลาวแตะครับเก่งมากเลยพูดอร่อยกว่าพอมั้ยขอบคุณมากครับขอให้รวยๆนะครับขอบคุณโชคดีนะครับผม
I've been jonesing for a for an omelet for like a couple days for some reason. You know, when my wife cooks, she cooks, uh, she cooks, and she cooks pretty well. But when she cooks an omelet, you know, like just a regular uh, Thai omelet with onion in it, always very, very good. left how much did I spend how much did I get I gave that guy 500 he told me 300 bought he told me 300 bought yeah you almost never have a bad meal in Thailand rarely do you have it's very very rare that you have a bad meal anyway the, the guy you know I was gonna give him 300 baht. He told me 300 I was like okay that's fine um, but since I told him to drive up and down and he waited while I was having my coffee and then he drove back, I could have just given him 400, but I figured give him the 400 and a hundred baht tip. Karma is good. And, uh, you know, he's happy. I'm sure he doesn't have many customers right now. So, you know. Later, Andy. Give me my water. Now what I'm really waiting for is when I take the, the bus. I don't know if it's a big bus or just a van. I take the bus and I go to this place, uh, what's it called? Fang, Fang Kon. Fang, Fang Kon. It's in between uh, here and Bung Khan. I'm waiting to go there just because it, I just have a feeling it's going to be in the middle of nowhere. Which is what I like. I like being in the middle of nowhere. This is city life. It's still very cool. I like to, I do like this town. I like the relaxed vibe. That's what it is. I like the vibe. Let's see here. Let's get out of this light. over there picking the chili peppers got to take the ends of the chili off Fanta red Fanta green it's too sweet for me It is the little touches that provides them a fan, glass, bar, small, all you need really wet wipe. Not so much these days. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I was gonna bring some wet wipes. And the wet wipes that I have are the prickly heat kind. And I thought, eh, I'm not gonna bring them. But I'm gonna stop and get some because I do like to have wet wipes just in case. And I, you know, I get tired of the gel. I'm sure they have gel here. Yeah, there's a bottle of gel right over there. If I wanted, I could go over there right now and use the gel, but uh, yeah, I mean, not many restaurants now, you know, some of the some of the restaurants that serve like Gayang, a lot of the foods that you're eating with your hands, um, they'd always have a bowl of clean water um, and you could wash your hands with it. Even uh, Kaijio. Uh, Kaijio Musap, Kaijio Poo, whatever, an omelet. You get the sticky right. Oh, Kun Kap, Kun Kap, Go Mi Kao Niao Mai, Mi Mai. 
ไม่เอาข้าวเนียวก็ไม่ไม่เอาข้าวเปล่าได้ไหมเปลี่ยนได้ไหมเออเข้าวเนียวก็ดีกว่าอยากเอาข้าวเนียวที่สติ๊กไรซ์เพราะคุณใช้สติ๊กไรซ์และคุณพิกอัพอาหารด้วยสติ๊กไรซ์ดีมากก่อนผมพยายามทำให้ได้ข้าวเหนียวแต่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้าวเหนียวแค่ข้She's got her little pink, pink motorbike. <laughs> it's funny. Is it a little Hello Kitty one? No, it's not a Hello Kitty. Let's get a pink one. Anyway, Uncle Ho's in the book. Got it done. That's off the bucket list. Not that it was really ever on the bucket list, but yeah, that's the thing, man. You know, I mean, like, listen, I'm in my house with my wife and my kids. My the atmosphere is good. It's fine. Everything is cool. You know, I like it there. But then, you know, when you're there all day and you're there for a couple of days in a row, and I don't go anywhere, then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to the mall. And then I end up spending money, and I'm like, "What did I spend this money for? Do we really need this?" No. And I'm like, "You know what? Sometimes you just want to go somewhere different." And it's like in Bangkok, I've been damn near everywhere that I want to go. I've been in Bangkok, and in Thailand, you know, I've been to a fair amount of places. But doing a little seat of the pants trip is a little different, you know. Now. Assuming I make it to Nong Khai, which hopefully I will, I do know of a little cheap guest house there. I don't remember the name of it. I'll find out. I, I just know that there's a guest house there, and it's right on the river. And they serve food, and they serve, uh, you know, they serve beer, they do coffee. And then, like within walking distance, is the little boardwalk there. But it has restaurants and. Uh, And it has a little market and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go to those places. And then if I have time, if the timing is right, I'm gonna go to this place called the Wat s a l a k e o k u which is uh, uh, it was made by a Laotian sculptor, and it's like the grounds are just full of strange sculptures. And um, there probably won't be anybody there. It'll just be me. But I may go to that place too. So you know, I, I do have some plans. Let's see if I can charge this. Yeah, you know, Nong Kai for me is it's, it's okay. It's nothing fantastic, but it's you, you know, if I want to start going along the outer edge of Thailand, then you got to go to you got to go to Nong Kai. It'll be nice there. Yeah, it should be. You know, I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about the place. It's just a place that's. It's another little place where it's like, all right, this is kind of cool. And then, you know, this place is a full-on city. I can see where you could you could find plenty to do here. There's a lot to do culturally. Um, I mean, I like this place. Hang on. You're live now. I'm charging, which is good. Is it worth doing a day trip to Laos? You, can't, I can't go to Laos. <laughs> I don't understand. You, you don't seem to understand, Stephen. If I go out. It's it'll cost me about thirty five hundred dollars to get back into Thailand. 
So, no, it's not worth it. And that's if they'll let me in. Otherwise, I would do it in a minute. It would be no problem. All right. <laughs> she said, why do you speak why do you speak Thai so well? You speak like a Thai person. But you not Leo. Uh, the daughter is 19. I'm like, well, I live here longer than you have, but she probably speaks. Funny. All right, let's take a look at this. If I can avoid getting the cable. As we call it in my house, stinky rice. Little stinky rice. The spicy, the, the sauce prick. Mm. Put it all on there. Let me position everything here. Get the stinky rice. This. Nobody wants to see me. Get that. Cut cut a little bit of this off. Put it over here. Get the sticky rice. You pick it up. That's what I'm gonna do. I've been dying for this. I don't know why. I've had the Jones in for a Thai omelet. Yeah, I like doing that. Especially little kids. I'm like, they're like, oh, how long you've been here? Longer than you've been alive. But then again, I'm, I've almost been here half my life now. So. It's always nice though when they say, you speak just like a Thai. I've had people on the phone go, I thought you were Thai. I'm like, no, and my Thai is not that good. All right, so you get the sticky rice, like this. There it is. You squeeze it like this, you ball it up. It's a little bit too much. You ball it up, make a nice little ball. And then you get the you get the egg like so. Their eggs turn out fluffier than mine. I don't know why. Mine never turn out as fluffy. I don't know why, but the stream has been uh, mostly Aussies. Oops. Mostly Aussies this morning. Lots of Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Just like that. It's good.
Yeah, after the first time, I didn't know I was gonna move here. After the third time, I started thinking about it. And then when I thought I was gonna move here, I didn't think it was gonna be for a long time. I've got around a year. And then I go back, get back in the grind. I figure I get back in the grind back in the US, you know, eventually get married or whatever, but didn't work out that way. I thought after a year or so, a year, maybe a year and a half, I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna go back home. I've had a good adventure. No, and you know what I'm grateful for is that it's not only this culture. As much as I talk about going to Africa, I don't know African culture, you know, from the different countries in the continent. Anywhere near as well as I know Asian culture. And I'm not somebody who, you know, I know a little bit about a lot of different things. But, you know, I know, I know places in Cambodia that most tourists, they, they're never going to find the place. I know places in Myanmar the same way. Not so much Vietnam, but you know, after time and time and time again, you just learn. It's not like anything special. It's just putting in the time, you know? Eventually you get it or you don't and you stay or you don't. hasn't always been easy, believe me. And I should say that trips like what I'm taking right now, I mean, could I really do it on my own? I could travel on my own. Not nearly as much as I used to, or I, you know, I can say I do. Um, hmm. The thing right now is I have a hard time sitting down and, and not wanting to go somewhere, you know? I want to travel. You know, when you're exhausted, you're like, ah, enough, enough of this traveling. I just want to be home. But then, you know, you get, you, you, you sleep, you rest, and then you go, all right, let's get back at it, you know? But it wouldn't be possible without YouTube for me and all the people. Two bucks here, five bucks here, 10 bucks here, it all adds up and it helps. I mean, you know. It'd be nice to be, you know, hey, I'm gonna chill out in the, in the Oriental who wouldn't like that? I've done that, though. There's not all that often. But, you know, I'll show my, I'll show my room. It's a great room for 490 baht, man. It's like a little over 15 bucks. It's a great room. It's just a room. That's all it is. There's a TV. I never, I almost never watch TV. So I don't need it. Nice clean shower, strong bum gun, strong air conditioner. It's got everything I need. You know. Now, I wouldn't want to live there because it's only one room. I need space to stretch out and breathe. But, you know, for a couple of nights, it's great.
I got no idea where I'm going to stay in the next city. I have no, absolutely no idea. But I'll tonight I'll check. By the time I get there, I'll have a couple places on a list, and hopefully I'll be able to find a place four or five hundred baht. Keep the expenses down. And I'll be honest, the main reason for this trip was not necessarily to travel, although I wanted to travel. It's not to come to Nakhon Phnom. I don't even know why I came to Nakhon Phnom. It was convenient. Um, it's because of the, the temple in the next city. Bunkan. Oh yeah. It's this big temple and the, I've talked about it. There's a wooden, there's wood all the way around the mountain. And that's how you go up. And there's seven levels. I don't know if the first, the next, the last two levels are still open because they closed it for snakes. There's too many snakes, <laughs> um, which I don't understand, but okay. But that place is supposed to be phenomenal. So I'm hoping that I'll have a signal and I can stream. That would be nice. It's supposed to be a great, great view of Laos, great view of Thailand, great view of, you know, the river. So I'm looking forward to that. Sometimes we get too caught up in the destination and the journey. Uh, it's always like that for me. The journey is, I hate to sound cliche, but you know, from the song, life's a journey, not a destination. And this is, you know, that is the place where I originally wanted to go. I just wanted to go straight there. I was going to go just there. Then I thought, ah, I'll go to Nakhon Phnom. And then I thought, oh, you know, the guy that I like, Kingsley Holgate, did the whole outer edge of, of, uh, of Africa. Maybe I could do the outer edge of Thailand. You know, it's a chunk of change to, you know, it, it adds up going from province to province. So I was like, eh, I don't know about that. But I thought, well, maybe I can give it a try. Um... But that's the destination originally. Now I'm like, it's it's all about the journey now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Tell that to a younger person. You know, I mean, I think, I don't know, because I don't hang out with very many young people anymore aside from my kids, but, and they are constantly teaching me things. But, you know, it's all about the little things. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not, hey, I went to Thailand. It's not about that. It's like if you're traveling and you're gonna go, I'm going to Thailand, wow. Okay, that's great. What, what you'll remember is the way that you felt when you went to a particular restaurant and this lady, you know, made sure that you were taken care of. You knew how to eat everything. Um, she smiled at you. You know, it's the way that the, you know, if you're single, the cute girl looks at you and then you kind of go out with her and you're like, wow, this is really different. And all those kind of small things. And when you think about it, guys who come to Thailand who fall for like bar girls and stuff like that, why did they do that? Because of the little things. It's not because the, the chicks are made up so much differently, you know, like, oh, the Thai chicks are so much hotter. No, it's the little, it's the little the details. It's the little things that they do, the way they act. And, you know, Western guys, they just go, oh, my God, she's awesome. She's just a regular chick, you know. But she does a few things different. Got a 
hole in my lip. It's the little things. There's a t-shirt right there. It's the little things. You could, you could, uh, that can be construed however you want. Hence, cha cha, sabai sabai, my pen ride, chai di, reflects what motion is about. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've said many times, I've said that uh, uh, if you learn anything about Thai culture, you learn my pen rai because. A lot of times you got to put, um, a, a lot of time you really need to uh, learn the concept of Maip and Rai, learn about, you know, Chai Yin Yin. Uh, and that helps you learn about how to deal with Thai people and how they go about dealing with their problems and stuff like that. And, you know, when, when you say something like, oh, Maipin Rai, you know, I mean, it's like, listen, some people might go, oh, yeah, it cost me $10 for that taxi ride. And then the guy, he wouldn't tell me how much he wanted extra. And you just go, you know what, the dude was a good dude. I'll give him an extra, you know, I'll, give, I'll cough up an extra fiber, right? And so you don't worry about it, five bucks. It's a might and rye. It's not a big deal. When it comes down to it, it's not a big deal. Now, if it was like a ten dollar fare, and the guy goes, "Give me a hundred dollars," you'd be like, uh, "No, sorry." But when it's like, you know what, you have an interaction that you leave feeling good, and then the person that you're talking to leaves feeling good. They don't feel like, you know, oh that guy, he was an asshole. He only wanted to give me, you know, I took him all over the place, and he, you know, he, I told him. It's up to you how much you give me, and he gave me 25 cents, you know, he gave me like 10 baht extra, you know, I mean, little things like that, or when somebody, you know, doesn't have change, and you know they just genuinely don't have change, which I'm about to find out here, then it's kind of like, you know, what do you do, you make a big stink about it, or you just go, you know, so if anything, what Thailand has taught me is, my and Rai, don't, don't worry about the little things. Enjoy them, enjoy the experience, but also to remain calm. And it's, that's been very hard for me because when I was young, somebody looked at me the wrong way and you know, it was, uh, it was an ordeal. All right, let's get out of here. set up here. Wallet. Take a little walk down the boardwalk here and uh, I'll head towards my hotel and then then it'll be on to the next stream. Remember when I first started teaching in Osama, they kept saying Sanuk Sanuk. Uh, that's another one. You know, even when even when times are most times are working, they try to have a little bit of fun while they're doing it. I remember being at work just thinking, Jesus Christ, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. But you know, you still have fun with your coworkers once in a while. You have a laugh or whatever, and that helps. They set out to do that. They want to have that. If they don't have it, they don't want to work there. You know, if you talk to someone and you go, why, why don't you like this job? Oh, my son, you know, it's not fun here. You know, the little Black Canyon, uh, is it Black Canyon? No, Cafe Amazon place that I go to to have my coffee in Bangkok. That place has gone through so many employees, girls and a few guys. And now they went, they went through another two. There's only one girl that I know who's been there for a couple of years. And I think she's there because, you know, her and her boyfriend need the money. Um, you know, especially now. Maybe he lost his job or something. I don't know. But uh, there's a huge turnover there. And they don't have fun there. They don't like working there. They don't have fun, you know. 
you make these little gems sh shallow by dismissing them, but in time you understand the utility. Yeah, well, one of my best buddies told me before, dude, it's not about the big, you know, the overall picture. It's about the little things along the way. And, you know, you got to enjoy the small moments. <laughs> like having a cup of coffee every morning, you know, like the routine. Like I have a routine every morning. Nicholas makes my coffee. All I have to do is put the water in. I have the manual coffee maker. I still, to this day, I could buy a, a, a nice espresso maker, you know, a decent one. And uh, I never do because I have this manual espresso maker. He makes, he puts the, he tamps the coffee in every night. And then I just get the hot water out of the hot water maker, pour it into the thing make my coffee and that's part of my routine every morning and I enjoy that then my wife will have a coffee we'll sit down we'll have a little coffee together little moments like that that's what I enjoy anyway let me uh, let's get out of here where's my money at oh I gave it to this guy I guess the point part of all these gems is to enjoy the moment. Yeah. Yeah. As my kids sit. Tell like up. Tell safe. Black diamond. My paw. Like my kid told me the other day, which I was surprised at. Go with the flow. You know? And it, like, you know, I was listening to the doors. Take it as it comes. You know, take it easy, baby. Take it as it comes. I love that mentality, you know. Right, I got to transfer this over to the gimbal. I love seeing the kindness in some of the older ties, yeah. I, I like talking to the older ties. Everybody has a story, you know. Cup kumaka. So that was a whopping 90 baht. Three bucks for the omelet, rice, and uh, water. Very, very good. Not too filling, just enough. Perfect. Perfect McMahon. That's another thing that makes me laugh is when they speak part English, part Thai. <laughs> I had to laugh. Alex got all A's in school his last semester. He got all A's, but he got a B, I think a B or C. He got a C in Thai. I'm like, dude, how do you get a C in Thai? It's your culture. How do you get a C? <laughs> Even my mother laughed. Well, hopefully this is going to work. Blame me? How's he gonna blame me? What did I do? Oh, I screwed this up. There we Now we got it working. All right, let's get out of this joint. Shit, I don't want to carry this water. They got beer here.
folds up nicely. One of these days, I'm gonna get rich because I'm gonna invent a camera slash gimbal slash bag slash everything that is like folds up to be like this big. You put it in your pocket and you don't have to deal with any of it. Not like now. Come on, cup. Joke, Dina. Back out into the heat. Oh, that Naga has water coming out. I didn't know that. Yeah. Exactly. Mr. Gadget, I'm like, should I get the little, what is that, the little uh, little Osmo thing that you just hold it, it's like the size of your hand. Then I'm like, do I really want to buy some Chinese made? Do I really have a choice? Look at this. Big water coming out here. Nityao Road. That no Nityao. No, no light. Landmark Nakon Panom. Oh. There you go, Mr. Manash. They got cappuccino, they got everything here, but I just had a I just had an espresso, so I really don't want one. I tend to load up on the espresso. You know, five double espressos later. I'm like, how come I can't sleep? Right, look at this. Oof. That is the Naga. We gotta get on the shade, man. <sighs> A lovely stroll down the boardwalk. Here, this is the place. I was gonna stay at this place. This is a, this would have been a primo location. Chick Chit Kong Hotel and Cafe. They got a cafe right there. If I ever come back, maybe I'll stay there. I think it was like 1100 baht or a thousand baht. And I was like, do I really need a place that's that nice? You want a coffee? Here's a coffee right here. Got lots of uh, lottery tickets. Lots and lots and lots. What the fuck? Dude's got a printer. 
You can see that? It's got a printer over there. God, it's just one person after another selling lottery tickets. What's the chance? Oh man, oh man. So what do you got? Huh? Dun chơi chơi. Dun theo. Me a me chop. Oh, bên này. They're always trying to hook you up. Of course, I was like, my wife wouldn't like that. My boyfriend wouldn't like it either. <laughs> Her boyfriend. This girl's boyfriend. My wife doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Here we go. Now. I can't believe there's no boats that will take me up the river. There has to be somebody. Ticket price, VIP 250. 5.30, back to the pier at eight. Mekong dinner, now I don't know. 13th through 30th, Mesayon, so this should be open. Hey, maybe that's what I do, huh? Take a little cruise. Cruise route map. That looks pretty good, eh? Two fifty for an adult for VIP. Two hours cruising time. So you go pretty much everywhere that I walk. Mahatat, Wat Mahatat, which is down on the end over there. So that's something I should think about, eh? What time does it start? 5.30 is the check-in time. So I need to leave around 4.45 to get here. Okay. Laos, two kilometers. Vietnam, 145 kilometers. China, 831 kilometers. That's cool, man. Interesting. Look at this boat. Ah! Here's the walkway. Looks pretty good, huh? For 250 baht? That's not a bad deal, man. I think I might have to check it out. I don't have to see. I could probably ask somebody right up here. Rua Sam. I know I can't see that letter. Sam Rua Meh. Me Kong. Paradise. Paradise. Oh, so it's the name of their Mekong Paradise. Yeah. Maybe I can ask somebody here. Ah! Kun Kap. Kun Kap. Go Rua. Rua. Tani go Pai, my. 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 Oh, Sawatid. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, Tino. Go by. Ha Mong Yen. Ha Mong Yen. Don't go to Laos, right? Don't go. Ha Mong. Cap. Cap. How many Mong? Do you know? Ha Mong. Or Cap. Ma. Two hours. About two hours. Lut. Lut. Fifty baht. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. So. 
There you go. 50 baht. This one is only on Saturday and Sunday. This one will go. So, but it's at 5 o'clock and it's only an hour. I can't believe, well, you know, then again, maybe there are a lot of people. Who knows? We'll check it out. So much for the monetization. Last night, had the video or the stream monetized. One song. Uh, one song played that they recognize, that YouTube recognized. And I got the notice this morning, copyright claim. Ineligible for monetization. That's all right, though. It was a good stream. This is... Uh, Tesaban, Tesaban, Muang, Nakon, Panom. So 50 baht, eh? Yeah, 50 baht. Chiamong, what is this? Oh, you can rent it for an hour for a thousand baht. So it's not going to be taking me up to up, up to uh Bung Kun Bung Kan. It's not going to be taking me there. Not at a thousand baht an hour is, is the way that this thing goes. Flying the Thai flag and Laotian flag. So maybe I'll take this tonight. Five o'clock though. That's a little early for streamers. So maybe I'll maybe I'll take it and I'll shoot video. Sounds like a plan, huh? All right. Dude's got his guitar over here. Well, whew. time to get inside. Swati so Cup. Somebody, my cup. I'm out, cop. She's selling the lottery tickets, they're everywhere. All right. I think this is a good place to whew, get out of the sun and say Arrivederci. What well, it's been a long stream, eh? I didn't know it was that long. Anyway. Let's see here. Let me see something. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'll stream later tonight or I won't stream. I really don't know. I am going to go out on this boat and uh, record it. Record the trip. And there will be a video or two going up tonight or tomorrow morning. Not sure. Depends on if I get it done. So, to all those who joined me in this stream, and in the last couple of streams, and all the streams, thank you very much. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. All right? Choke B. Jerk and my. Jerk and. See ya.